So in this video is an Ace game in the T62 M1, which shows a Era 2 Eastern Alliance medium tank. Um, it's a really good tank. Um, it's got one of the highest um, standard penetrations at Era 2, so the gun's really nice. Um, 520 Alpha on the standard. Um, as you can see, I don't run any heat shells, which are the premiums. You've only got 500 Alpha with that, um, and you only gain sort of 13 millimeters of penetration. And with the amount of spaced armor at Era 2, they really are not worth taking. ATGMs, um, they are an interesting problem to have. Um, the, strictly speaking, they've got 550 millimeters of penetration on those shells, 730 alpha. Um, but I do find the situations where I usually load one at the start of the match. And I, I usually come this way as well on, on days four when I get these spawns. This is a quite nice little sneaky spot to go. Um, but yeah, it's um, I am tempted to actually drop the ATGMs. Uh, in this situation, I can see that tank there. I could have fired with the standard, um, but unfortunately, just waiting for the ATGM to go in. Looks like I didn't get it. Um, the big problem with this tank. Um, you won't see it here because um, it's all on, all on level. Um, it's got three degrees of gun depression, and you'll see later in the game. Um, there's a couple of situations where you might be thinking, why aren't I um, you know, lowering the gun? It's because that's our maximum gun depression. Um, but yeah, so we're just getting into this scrap uh, on top of the town, and we've won the hill already. Um, we're really good to win this hill this early. Um, it is really a, a strong point of, of, the, map, of the, the entire map. The enemy team will push around north. Um, yeah, again, um, fairly common tactic we see. I'm just stuck behind this FT4211. It just doesn't realise I'm here trying to get past. Um, yeah, just completely tunnel vision probably down, down Sniper. Um, but now doing Eastern uh, Alliance tank things, which is just kind of zooming around. Um, just trying to spot as many enemy tanks up as I can. Um, we get the enemy T62 M1. Um, spied, looks like it's firing the ATGMs. Um, yeah, it's they are really nice missiles. Um, I tend to not bother with the missiles apart from if it's on a light tank. These ones are quite nice. It's just um, the standard shells are just so nice. Um, they got you know, high alpha, really good penetration. Um, uh, ultimately, if you low roll on the ATGM, uh, you're, you're approaching the alpha of the standard shells, so um, very, very tempted to actually drop the ATGMs on this tank. Um, just because that standard ammunition is so good. But we're here, we've, we've gone forward to this where I can get a little bit hold down. Um, it did bounce a couple of things there. It's always important in those situations to make sure you're you're aiming where the shots are. That you think you, the shots are going to come, so that's where your strongest armor is. But yeah, um, just that little push, and we're up to 5,000, uh, 6,200 assisted damage now. Um, those tanks on the hill, uh, since we've won the town, um, they're just farming up there. Um, this Mobat's um, seen that you know, that flank's lost. It's quite interesting to see this Mobat retreating this, this strongly because as you can see, we've only got one heavy going south. It's just because we've won the hill and we're putting so much pressure on, on all their positions that that Mobat thinks it's going to be overrun any second. There's only a couple of tanks coming towards it. So um, yeah, winning that town in the middle is, is vital. make a small mistake here um, just get spotted and get shot from right across the map not too sure where that's come from um, decide I can't see it it may just be hard aiming at that spot now I'm just going to move I'm going to go around the other side of this rock um, as you can see I've got the um, the cursor as low as it will go but that's as low as the barrel will go as well and you'll see here when I'm trying to side scrape um, it doesn't look too much like there's too much um, 
elevation change but there's enough for this tank um, to fry off so I'm at maximum gun depression and that little bump um, was enough so yeah it's um, the gun depression is it's an issue with this tank it really is an issue you just have to to learn to play it as a, a Soviet tank um, you know you're not going hold down often um, and you just need to you just need to try and angle yourself so I just try and use slopes to just raise the back of the tank up but obviously as soon as you do that you start um, negating your armor because um, people would just be able to shoot into the top of your tank so yeah it's a tricky tank to play uh, we're approaching um, this hill up here we've made a really nice push actually just by winning the middle um, we've won the east we've won the south um, going into here um, there is a three person platoon up here they were the ones that I was firing at earlier um, it's always not ideal going in on a, on a three person platoon when you're on your own I can see this Conqueror oh, just absolute um, yeah just all time like a bit of a the ammo racks me tracks me in place I couldn't get the gun down could not get the gun down so decide that that's one of the, the people in that platoon I've got to get out of the game um, just to get a gun out of the game but as you can see you just completely messed this up in my defense what I will say um, was that this game was a was um, quite late at night um, so I may have been feeling a bit tight at this point um, so yeah just trade a lot of health just to knock a, a gun out of the game got this um, FE4211 again um, just auto locking not using these good shells to full potential but do get the um, second shell in I've had to use the repair kit a few times now so um, yeah it's, it's definitely worth using the premiums and again the gun depression um, or lack of it lets me down luckily the tracks absorb that and the um, repair kit just comes back in time so I'm on the one shot now um, there are quite a few tanks um, out in the distance. I don't think I'll be able to get any shots on into it though. Just staying here. Um, no real reason to move until I feel like I've got a, a, um, a position where I can get a shot. So you're yeah, just playing it quite casually. Um, that one's just fired, so I'm just going to try and come around here, risk it, and get the kill. So yeah, just um, there was no reason to um, to, to you know, load or or to try and side scrape. Um, I think that M60A1 it can have quite a bit of a dirt gun. So um, yeah, not too sure if it could have just gone through me if I was side scraping. So um, yeah, just played it played it tactically, um, got the kill. So I'm um, still in the game. We're up to 6,600 assisted and just over 5,200. I mean, damage myself so yeah um, really good game uh, about 11,800 combined game um, I know it's era 2 but still that's, I, that's quite a big game at era 2 still um, it is an ace as well um, so yeah I've got this uh, T-72 AV managed to get a shot through the front um, those tanks um, aim for the front drive wheel and actually aim to shoot down the gun um, the gun mantle around the bow is really weak um, so yeah that's just one, one tip about going on those um, T-72s it's 9-1 so we're just going in now to see if we can get the last kill so yeah um, this tank, really good tank actually, really fun um, really nice ATGMs um, but the standard ammunition is really good as well so it's a bit tricky what to do. As you can see, I only had, I only used one of the ATGMs right at the start of the game. Where you're just moving into position, you can use that time just to load an ATGM and um, fire it away. But um, yeah, five kills, just over 7, 000, uh, 5,700. 
and yeah, just end with um, just over 6,600 assisted. So yeah, really, really good game. Um, 12,000 combined. And yeah, the, I got a silver booster on that as well. But um, yeah, ace tanker, I've got the spotter ribbon as well. Really good tank, um, as I said, definitely worth getting if you like Eastern Alliance Soviet style tanks.